Good morning, or should I say good afternoon? Most of you who've been following me for a while know how much I like to utilize a day. However, with moving and back-to-back -back holiday weekends, only a couple days of living in Pennsylvania. I got a super late start. Uh, I normally wouldn't go out if I only had a few hours, but I was really in the mood to go to Burning Bridge. So I'm going to start my day, even though it's like one o'clock in Columbia, Pennsylvania, and we'll see where it takes us from there. But in the meantime, let's go in and get warmed up because it is freezing out today. Now this place has three levels. I normally start on the main level and go then up, down, all around. But I'm gonna start downstairs today. I'm already seeing a shelf full of things that catch my eye. Oh my gosh, look at these little Christmas bulbs. How cute. Made in Taiwan. So they're maybe not as old as I would normally appreciate, but still. Um, the other thing that I notice is this Merry Christmas wall plaque. I have never seen one quite like this. Actually, that's not true. There's one at, uh, one at, uh, what is it called? The place in Frederick, Old Glory. Um, but it's not as, uh, in good condition as this one. 1250, that seems really fair. I'm kind of overwhelmed. I knew that they would have a lot of great stuff, but it's been so long since I've been here. And I've had this set before. This is really fun. It's got the napkin holder and the salt and pepper shaker set. Now, I am a huge sucker for the risque things. 22 is still enough for me to make a few bucks on. I usually sell those for about 35. But I'm a little greedy today because I just, oh my gosh, look at this. What is this? Little Christmas boxes? Oh my gosh. How many are there? So there's two of the poinsettia girl and then two of these. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these. They're just so unique. Now, I saw one of these the other day, but the packaging was ripped. That is very neat. How much is this? $4. Christmas card show off in pack. And it's got the little stickers and pins. It's very cute. I kind of feel like I should pick this up, but for some reason, I'm just not going to. Uh, little Eskimos, those are cute. What's happening here? This looks like Taiwan as well, though I could be wrong. Made in Japan. That is really different. $12. And it comes with the original box. Oh my gosh. This is definitely gonna be a double lap kind of day. I'm also noticing this matches holder. I've had one of these before. Um, it's really hard to find these in good condition. I think they're so fun. Um, since I've had it a couple times recently, I'm gonna leave that one. Oh my gosh, it's so much. Oh, and this isn't usually my style, but I really like the unique flower on that dish. Ah! Oh! So a lot of people are like weird about selling Christmas year round. I am not one of those. I do keep my Christmas section on my shop open. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Year round, um, I feel like there's never a bad time for Christmas. Plus it's uh, Christmas stuff brings in a lot of money. And since I do this full time, I can't really afford to bypass Christmas. This tray is really cool too. We all know I'm a sucker for color coordinated booths. Even though these are 1980s, I think they're so neat. Oh, rainbows. I don't understand why they're all different prices though. And the little flocked owl, that's cute. This is a neat picture too. Huh. A lot of really nice glass though. I'm trying to be super choosy and uh, get super unique items only that I haven't really had before just because um, I'm pretty far ahead in my videos and I've got a lot of money tied up in this right now. Oh my gosh, look at this little owls. 
Plus, I don't know how much space yet I'm gonna have at my new place. Uh, I was kind of overexcited when I visited the last time and didn't really measure anything. Is this a purple squirrel? Whoa. Rare McCoy, $78. Um, what about this adorable music box? Oh my gosh. I thought it was Winnie the Pooh and a cat at first. <laughs> this dress is quite fabulous. I really like this owl too, even though it's not really my style. It's a little bit more than I'd like to spend on it though. I'm being super cheap today. I see Miller Studios poodles. 34, even with 20%, that's too close for me to do anything with for resale value, though it is a good price for a collector since they are in such great condition. It's hard to find chalkware that's not all chipped up. I know I've had these a few times, but I have to check the prices on the flower frogs just because 65. Okay, don't feel bad about leaving those here. Whoa, look at this incredible sled girl. $90, that is, uh, retail on that but it is a really hard one to find that's an incredible christmas find more little christmas doodads eight bucks fair but even though i'm looking at the prices on things that are more common i still am holding out for more unique items oh my gosh i do love those coin dot lamps in the back there though Oh, it's one of the Santa Claus on chimney planters. These sell super quick for me. $20 is what I get for those after fees. Now, oh, little candle, candle huggers. Those are cute, but what is going on here? <laughs> those are hilarious. Little rubber Santa candle huggers. I've never seen those before. And you know, I got to check the price on the cats too. $20, that's about what those sell for. I am obsessed with the celluloid Santa Claus with the sleigh. It's a really fair price. I don't even want to tell you because if I did, you'd be like, why are you leaving that there? It's $22. And uh, I'm assuming that there's no holes on the other side of it. It looks in pristine condition on this side. That stuff is really hard to find. And I love the little Napco Christmas girls, but those are priced at retail. Now I am gonna come back to this booth after, I mean, look at this little print, that's fantastic. I'm gonna come back to this booth after I've kind of calmed down a little bit. I don't wanna get too out of hand. Um, there's booths on every level of this place that I'm obsessed with. So let's go up to the main level and see what they got there. Look at all these little Christmas cards. Oh my gosh, who's there? Just me wishing you a Merry Christmas. That's so cute. Um, wait, what? I was going through the Christmas cards. What is going on here? Made in Hong Kong. Wow, that is really unique. Mermaids always sell super well. This is $10 and 15% off. So for $8 and 50 cents, I'm definitely grabbing this. I have decided to bypass some of the Christmas cards. Um, I'm just not in the mood for dealing with paper at this second. Oh my gosh, look, this one's got flamingos on it. Flamingos usually sell pretty well. A little wall hanging, it's really well priced. But I'm being super choosy. Oh my gosh, look at this little. This is definitely made in Japan and $18. Oh my gosh, it's even got the zipper. That is too cute. Um, definitely priced closer to retail, so I can't really do anything with it, but there's a lot more to go. I'm still in the same first booth as uh, I was when I got here 10 minutes ago or whatever. I'm not making it very far. Oh, the legs are really funny. But again, uh, a little too close for me. Look at this funny big eye doll. Oh my gosh. She's a little hula dancer, $16. She's really fun, but I've had a couple hula girls like this before and they've been sitting for like two years. I'm not even kidding, which I think is crazy. 14, that's about what I sell those for too. Oh my gosh, look at that lamp, how fantastic. Also, I almost missed these, 
Japan. That's really interesting because they almost looked Italian from afar. Huh. Ooh, but also the tree skirt. Every time I've started to walk away from this booth, I've spotted something else. 28, and that's about what I would sell that for as well. Oh my gosh. So overwhelmed. Look at this little lamb planter with it's like a poodle actually, not a lamb. I think it's Napco. Yeah. I've seen other ones in this. Oh, there's no glass there. Just kidding. Oh my gosh. I was waiting, but trying to put it down. Um, optical illusion. How much does that say? $15. And then 15%. Oh, that leaves a little there's glass here. I can put it down here. That is cute. But like I said, I'm gonna do two laps. This is definitely a uh, second lap worthy. And it's got a little dingamajigger there. These cats are kind of fun. I don't usually like the all black ones, but the paint's in really good condition. I believe they're Thames, is that right? Actually, I don't think so. Can't read that tag. My eyes aren't what they used to be. Huh. A quality product, Japan. Huh. Very neat, but it's a not quite for me. And that cat planter is definitely harder to find. $20 is about what I'd sell that for too. Okay, a lot to talk about here. This is one of my favorite vendors. Um, first of all, the Kamar Devil. That is an incredibly rare find. And I love the little snow pixies. Oh my gosh, and all the little nuns. Ah! And that is a fun set, the dwarves. Hmm, that's a really good price for that set. I almost want to pick it. Oh, look, another Kamar. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking cool. Also, how did I no not see these giant ice cream cone salt and peppers? Those are so fun. Oh man, there's that incredible Collins purse. Oh my gosh, so cool. I found one of those at uh, Old Glory this past summer. And need Collins, that's what I'm trying to think of. Lucite candles, very fun. Um, and the left hand candle hugger, it's missing its mate. Gosh, there's just like so much stuff packed in here. Look at this funny gnome. Okay, well, this is out of my budget, but like what? That lighter set is probably one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time. This three bear set is super fun. 30 bucks, that's super fair too. So this case aisle is like one of my biggest danger zones. I already see a thousand and one things I like. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna take it case by case. Those angels are pretty fantastic. $50 is too high for me. The little pixies. So many cute Christmas decorations. I actually really like those gold boots but this is kind of got my full attention right now. There's a lot going on in here. Oh, and it's a little Santa pin in the back there. I think it's one of those pole ones. People are always asking me for those. And the cats are cute, but they're a little too new for me. And more Christmas pins. Oh my gosh, I love the candy cane, the deer. Oh, look at that Santa pin. That one's only six bucks. I'm going to wait until I look at all the cases before I decide what I'm going to pull out and take a better look at. Um, I'm noticing they got the Japan heart planter back there. I can't stop looking at that little Santa pin. So cute. Now, a couple of the salt and pepper shakers down here really have my attention like the little devils, but I do believe they say 19. Even with 20% off, it's a little bit closer than I'd like. Oh my gosh, I'm doing such a bad job at holding the camera in this basket at the same time. And the mushrooms are really fun, but again, a little too close for me. So the Commodore Noel Pixie saw, uh, candle holders are $50 for a collector. That's fair, not for me. I don't sell them for as much as uh, some people do just cause I find them kind of common. But the Lefton Elves salt and pepper shaker set back there. Hold on, let me zoom in cause they're so hard to find. Those are $100 and they're not wrong. I have never even seen a complete set before. I'm gonna look up what the last pair sold for just cause I'm curious. So actually interesting, there's a lot of pairs online right now. Um, the sold ones didn't seem as high as the ones that are listed, 
since there's a multitude of them right now, I wouldn't invest $100 for resale in them, but some collector will be really excited to find that set. And I love the TV, but it's a little too high for me. Oh my gosh, look at that. The mice, those are so fun. And I love this little flock Santa with the rubber face in the boot. I am definitely gonna get a key for that little ornament. I had a few like that last year that I got from this booth and they sold super quick and people were asking me if I had more and I was like, man, I really wish I did. Um, it's only $8 and then 20% off. Now also these pose creature things, I think they're supposed to be reindeer are really interesting, but I'm not a big fan of the styrofoam situation. Let's see what else. Oh my gosh. So much cute stuff. Also noteworthy, it's a little too close for resale vet purposes for me, but the celluloid cat rattle, very, very cool. Now, also kind of cool is that little vase pin with the faux flowers. I might pick that up too. I'm gonna go back to this other case before I get a key for this stuff. So I got the little angel ornament and uh, the vase brooch. I'm also gonna go ahead and pick up this candy cane pin, it's just too fun not to, and it's only $3. Now, uh, oh my gosh, candles, please don't break. Oh, it's a little turtle. How cute are you? <laughs> but the brooch is what I was going for. People love these. How much is it? $9, that is super fair, but I'm actually gonna pass, don't hate me. Don't hate me for it now. The little Santa Claus is kind of fun, but I like the candy cane better. Uh, I think that might be it. Oh, now that I know that this case is open, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and check out the other side before I keep going. I do have to know how much these are. Okay, $19 and 20%. Totally fair for a collector, but a little too close for me. I think that's it here. The fact that I've spent under $30 so far is insane. I'm still going back to that booth on the bottom level, but in the meantime, I am finally hitting the top floor here.